is Cracker Jones from Michigan. He's a cousin of Velocity Jones, if you know him at all. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, oh. I drove down with them from Michigan, so. Nice. Yeah. Cracker Jones did a lot of the a lot of the drive. Also, yesterday morning, like they had van trouble. They had to replace a caliper because uh, it was like smoking. And him and uh, Sam, they did it in like 20 minutes. I was oh, very geez. impressed. It's like a pit stop. <laughs> like on the side of the highway? No, it was it was at uh, it oh, was at goodness. their house, but it was uh, it was still a sight to be. Oh! I loved that where that fox combo was going. Yeah. Fox combos on Kirby can be so explosive. Yeah. Uh, and this is this is one of those weird matchups where like it can sometimes almost look favorable for Fox. Yeah. He, he's like one of the only characters that can like consistently outrange Kirby's aerials and outspace his attacks. Most yeah. characters just don't have the tools to do that. And like on top of all that, Fox has that laser keep away game. Uh, yeah. But the problem comes when you get hit once by Kirby and die for it. Yeah. That's, it's what if this matchup is like walking on eggshells constantly. Fox has to play so precise in order to not uh, get hit by something like this. Right. Back there from Cracker Jones. And Maybe especially when a Kirby can get them off stage at low percent. Yeah. I mean, well, here at high percent, it's going to work too, but. Playing Fox at all is just walking on eggshells. I mean, that might be true. But it is interesting how, yeah, some people, they, they do say that this is kind of Fox favored. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's the case, but I can see why you get that sense. Yeah, in, and in a world where everybody plays at a perfect uh, consistency and doesn't make mistakes and just does what they're trying to do always, the best Fox players should be the best Kirby players. Ooh. But here in the real world where human beings are playing Smash and making errors occasionally, right. it's a lot more punishing to make that error as the Fox player than it is as the Kirby player. Yeah. The meta is going to be so much better once the AI overlords take over. <laughs> Yeah, I think if you trained an AI to play Smash, it would main Fox. So or is, Yoshi. I mean actually, Yoshi. is such a thing feasible? Kind of like kind of taking advantage of like machine learning and sort of training. Oh, for sure. It's been done for other video games. But for 64, is such oh. a thing feasible? Oh, and Lord Cat going so deep for that edge guard with the shine. Not able to make it connect. Cracker Jones does not capitalize, though. So Lord Ted's still alive. And just pushing this stock further and further, all the way up to 90% now. Oh, missing the Z cancel. Oh man, and it's a last stock game, yeah. but you this know, zero Fox, one mistake. There okay, well he gets it. Doesn't make a mistake, finds the upper. He's so, looking for. So is it, yeah, that's, yeah, LD is the AI. <laughs> But it, is such a thing feasible, or is there something about um, 64 and like reading the inputs that, that actually would be difficult to do? Uh, I don't know. It's outside my area of expertise, but anything is possible. They've done it with other games. They could do it with this one. I just, it would require a lot of work and a lot of computing power. I and wonder if, if they did the thing where they, just, they would just train AIs against each other um, and get better, sort of like AlphaGo. But then I'm curious if the AIs would just find some game-breaking strategy and uh, and it, it wouldn't look anything like Smash. It would certainly be interesting. Um, this is a huge tangent, but like I can make a, a comparison. There's someone uh, who's been running like a bot to optimize Super Mario 64 tool-assisted speedruns, and it's found like a bunch of new strategies that people never came up with before and saved a bunch of time in like all kinds of different places. So I do believe uh, that if if a, if a computer was playing this game at its perfect level and was trained really well, it would probably come up with some stuff that people just don't do. All right, evening the stock count. Lord Ted. Dude, I might go in a moment, after, maybe after this game. Oh, because you've probably got to play in the I next wave. I have to wave. play in the next, yeah, so I, I want to go take a piss and sort of yeah. meditate. Of course. I think you'll be all right. We'll see. I scrubbed out last year, so <laughs> I'm very good at scrubbing out. Thanks, Posenberg. 
Yeah, we all believe in Natty here. Oh, but do we believe in Cracker Jones and his ability to even this game up? Yeah, this looks like it might go even. There we go. Yeah, wow. Well, if it goes to game three, I'm, I'm going to stay for game three, of course. Oh, oh he's the up to the it, just it was that, that little tiny the flinch he did off of the down air. Good double jump spacing from Lord Ted. Briefly got himself back on the stage, but Cracker Jones was ready with the forward smash. Unfortunately, the down smash sending the wrong way. Yeah. And once again, Cracker Jones finds himself going to Edgeguard Fox. Lord Ted goes for like the melee style angle. Uh-oh. Straight to the ledge. Finds the opening. But not gonna get anything off of that down tilt. Yeah, this high Cracker percent Fox, no oh, jumps up air. Right now. Oh, the single hit, it's not enough to kill. Yeah, and I think if Lortet recognized the lack of jumps from oh, Kirby there. Oh, he knows, he's in his head. Yeah, Tech chases, he just Tech waits. in. Um, but high percent on this Fox, one strong hit. Oh, catching the landing quarter, but missed the Z cancel. Lortet rolled through the entire fort smash. That's really precise. Uh, oh, getting, that up B was a Getting mistake. that roll through the whole Kirby forward smash and not getting hit by any of the active frames. Okay, catching the back air. No more jumps on Kirby, and that last back air is oh, going to seal it. Oh, and he goes for it all. Lord Ted takes the extra shine just for fun. Even after that second back air, it was already over. All right. Except the Lord Ted, though. Taking a 2-0 over Cracker Jones. Well, it was Natty, a pleasure watching the games with you. It was great commentating. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. All right. Thanks to Natty for coming and joining me on commentary. That was a good time. Lord Tet.